You gonna skip him? Huh? You gonna, you gonna skip him? I want to. We were down here along the high river and uh, Alex has got his fishing pole in. We decided to stop. We were gonna make a fire, but we decided that we'd just go ahead and make cold uh, tea. So we got the can out, put some water in it, and got a couple tea bags in that, and we're just gonna let it steep with cold water. I don't know if he's gonna catch any fish throwing rocks in the water, but oh well. We decided to get us a, something for snacks, so we got some crackers and mandarin oranges. Alex got him some pistachios, some cheese and crackers, and we got corn that we're fishing with, plus black olives. So we're just down here at the uh, river just having a ball. Uh, we'll probably fish a little bit and then we'll eat some crackers and then we'll fish a little bit and then we'll probably go look for some stuff along the riverbank here. And uh, just basically chill out and have a little bit of fun. Wait, Hank, sound good to you? All right. Okay guys, we'll probably uh, get back with you if we see anything interesting. Okay, now what did you say again? That was a gigantic fish. Gigantic fish dead on the bank. Is that what you said? Half of a gigantic fish. Half. And how big was his tail? Size of this rock wide. Size of this rock wide. Boy, that sounds like a fish story to me. We got to go check this out. Does it sound like a fish tail? Sound, yep, sounds like a fish tail. That's what it sounds like. Well, let's go check out this whale, Moby Dick. Alex found Moby Dick in the bush. Huh. All right, I'm coming. Ah, bunch of locust trees. Right oh my goodness. Well, now that ain't a tail, Alex. That's the whole fish, bud. That's a big old carp. Well, then where's the head? <laughs> well, the head's gone. But uh, that is a good carp. I would say when that thing was alive, it was probably about eight, eight pounds. No, about eight pound, I'd say. A good eight pound anyway. Ten pound maybe. Pretty good sized fish. Uh-oh, uh don't, don't take off without me. I'll get lost. Oh, no. I'll get lost. We ain't got no landmarks. Oh, wait. We got the river. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, man. That was a pretty big fish. I didn't really smell it, but uh, I'm sure it's stinky. I did. Oh, you did? You Are you getting any bites? It doesn't look like it. Well, that's all right. Let's go check our tea and see how well it's doing. Sitting there. We're making sun tea. Yeah, it's working right along. Come on. We're making sun tea in a stainless steel black bottle. What do you think? <laughs> Uh, careful with that knife, mister. I think I'm going to carve me out a spoon here. Just a quick flat spoon. And, uh, somebody twisted that maple tree, which there's maples and locusts and all kinds of shrubs down along this riverbank. They grow like crazy. Somebody, it's actually pretty fresh within the last couple of days because they're still sapping the bark. And I sawed off a chunk there and, uh, <coughs> <coughs> I sold off a chunk and I'm going to carve me out like a little flat spoon and uh, that way we can stir up our tea, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we'll be back. Uh-oh, looky there, Alex. We got a barge coming up the river. I better reel in. No, don't reel in. You ain't... Oh, a fish just jumped out there and you missed it. Uh, it was a big one. Its tail was as big as that whole piece of concrete oh. right there. I kid you not, it was that big. It was half the size of that barge. Oh. What? Moby Dick's not even that big, Dad. Oh. Sounds like he turned these, turned these engines off. Oh, well, well, we'll get back to you. He's starting to pour the coal to her now. Boy, that's a pretty good sized bar going on there. I'm sure you guys recognize that name. Any of you guys that's from around this area. Appalachian Electric Power. He's got five sections and I think them things are three, three across. One, two, three, yeah, three across. Yeah. 
at large. What's uh, one, two, three, four, five? What's five times three, Alex? Five times three? Yeah. Fifty-two. Fifty-two? What'd you say? Fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Oh, my bad. I think you're right. Oh, you know you're right, huh? You're a brainiac, ain't you? Today we just bought this, brought the small pack with us. Uh, we we backpacked down here about uh, I think it's five blocks, something like that. Maybe six. I don't know. But uh, it's just a little day pack with a bladder in it. Thirteen, thirteen liter is what the uh, pack size is, I believe. Uh, I'll show you guys what's in that someday. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think, Alex? Eh, maybe. Nah, maybe. Uh, our tea's done. I think our tea's just about done. Ready to add some uh, sugar to it, Alex. Yeah, it looks black. I made a teaspoon. What do you think? <laughs> Didn't have my crook knife, so I couldn't carve the bowl out too much. But it's just for stirring the sugar up and stuff like that. Getting out our tea bag, so. I believe it's done. Bushy, nice and black, so pretty good color there I think we're getting ready to have a spot of tea I would say a brew of tea but I guess we're not brewing it we're just drinking it well that guy's got some nice birdhouses over there if I can hold the camera steady enough to see him nope man he's got a lot of them gourds I was wanting to grow them gourds this year I don't know if I'll have, a, have time to grow them now or not well, we'll be back. Well, we're back. Alex uh, wanted us to make a fire, so uh, I told him we had a little bannock mix, and he said he wanted some bread to go with these mandarin oranges and pistachio nuts and all kinds of stuff. We added a little bit of corn juice. We're um, cooking with, or we're fishing with whole corn of corn, and it was a little bit dry, so uh, rather than put water in it, we just added a little bit of corn juice to it. And some tea. Huh? And some tea. And some tea. Well, there was only a drop of tea, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and cook us up a little bannock. And while we got the fire there, we're gonna go ahead and heat up our tea a little bit. And uh, I guess we will have a brew of tea, huh? Yep. You may hold her for a while. You've had it for a little bit. All right, we'll be back. Hey there, guys. We're back, and we're getting ready to bug out. Got anything to add, Dad? Uh, I think we need some ice cream, what do you think? Yeah, probably. I think we ought to backpack down to the Dairy Queen. Yeah. I don't know, from what's my gut, that's getting tighter. Maybe we better not get no ice cream. Huh? You cannot get some ice cream. Well, what do you think of our little spoon? It worked out pretty good, didn't it? Yep. Uh, we had uh, carved ourselves a little spoon and... Dad cut a tip out of it to eat his black olives. And it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I liked them, but you didn't do it. Yeah. Got trash picked up. We're going to drop this off up there on top. In the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to put it in the middle of the road. For a minute, I was thinking, wait, what? <laughs> uh, what else are you forgetting? Amora. Nope, you can go ahead and push your cord and we're going to sign off guys. Thanks for watching. Me and Alex had a good time down here along the river for about three or four hours. And uh, we're going to sign off, head back up, and maybe get us some ice cream. And Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see y'all later. This has been Hillboys in the Bush.